Hey, what's up guys? This is my review of the new Track Torque, brand new Track Torque Ultra HD 1 to 8 LPVO. Now guys that watch my channel a lot know I'm a big fan of Track. They sell directly to the public, so they're able to offer you a lot of bang for the buck. Now on this particular LPVO, it's a little more expensive, but a lot of guys are like me. They've got one of the little cheap LPVOs on a cheap AR. But you get ready to build up a better rifle and you want better optics, you want better performance, and you want something you can count on. This is definitely that scope. All right, enough talk. Let me show you this thing, show you how it worked out at the range, show you the illuminated dot that I think is so freaking cool because it's daylight bright. This is a second focal plane, which everything that I personally own that's an LPVO is a second focal plane because the first focal plane, in my way of thinking, it's going to be a low power optic, more close range, and you don't need a reticle that's going to disappear on the low end. This won't do that. All right, enough talk. Let's hit it. All right, there's your first peek at it. There's no doubt this little son bitch is sexy. Let's start out by looking at the eyepiece. Now, the entire knurled end of it there is totally coated in rubber, which is really nice because if you got gloves on or even if you don't, it just has kind of a cool wow factor to it. And just one of the little touches that you see in all of the track scopes, part of the reason they've got such a good reputation for their quality of all their builds, not just on the Ultra HD, but throughout their scope line. Now the throw lever is just as smooth, the magnification adjustment as the rest of their scope. It has a side illumination, it's 10 steps with off in between each one. Now it has a little floating dot that'll give you a little representation. You'll see it down range here in just a minute. It takes a standard 2032 battery and everything is sealed up with O-rings and I mean solid, I mean the turrets everything. This thing has cap turrets on the inside of them. Look right there. You can see the rubber O-rings and these things have a little trick up their sleeve. One thing is the amount of elevation that you get in this scope. It's 40 MOA per revolution, which is a shitload. Top part of that turret, you just unscrew it and you can just pull it off, reset it to zero, and then just screw it right back on. And everything's real finely threaded, but it's a cap turret, so you don't have to worry about any moisture or dust getting into it. You can see the metal assembly inside. This is one of those scopes. When you handle it, you really see all the quality and feel all the precision. Now the turrets, you more feel them than you hear them, but there she is. Let's hit the range. All right, that's about how fast I was trying to get out there with this thing. There's a look at it at 50 yards, and there's a look at the illumination that I like so much. I just dig the hell out of something that you can actually see during the day that's a second focal plane. Now, right here, I'm just running the magnification from the top to the bottom to give you an idea of the clarity and also give you an idea of the huge field of view that you have. Right here, I'm doing the vertical tracking. I'm just going to run it all the way from stop to stop. This will give you an idea of how much travel you have inside the scope. Now the image here is blown up some because I want it to be really good and clear and it also jumps out at you just how clear the image is. Now the more you blow one of these images up, the less quality that you see in them, but because the image through this scope is so good, you can do that. I did the vertical, the horizontal. Here's the box test. I'm running it one revolution in each direction. Every single test that I put it through, it went through flawlessly. Now this one right here, this is the MOA version. It's also available in the mil radian version. I got the MOA because I just kind of dig it. I'm old school like that. Gotta say it, track. They knocked that shit right out of the park. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And keep an eye out, see what I did there? Keep an eye out for the new Tracked Ultra HD 2.5 to 15 they got coming too. They sent me a couple of these to test. Unfortunately, I got to give these scopes back, which is killing my ass. I want to keep them bad. But believe me, it's every bit as impressive as the 1 to 8 is. So make sure and look for it. If you enjoyed this video, check out this video and this playlist. It's got my other track reviews in it. And below, you'll see the specs to this scope and a link to track. Thanks for watching, guys.